Well, I would say certainly that this is the day the Lord has made. I know for everyone here, we've been anticipating this day. You know, you just look so forward to it, right? And there's all this planning that's going into it. The bride and the groom are together and they are one. We uh, have great confidence as we bow our hearts and we ask the Lord's blessing. We're assured that he's the same, that he'll be the guest of honor here and bring joy to this day. Jesus, thank you so much, God, for this. Um, just a great day. Just thank you, Jesus, for the little things, Lord. Thank you for our family. Uh, we want you to be lifted up. Just thank you once again, Jesus, for this beautiful wife you've given me. And it's crazy to say, but it's awesome, Jesus, because I know it's from you. Heavenly Father, we thank you that before you created the universe, you ordained today. This moment, this union, this marriage to reflect the glory of your grace. kind of a long journey to this day, but it's here. I'm just really so grateful that the Lord brought you guys together. As you can all see, they're in love. And specifically, that God has brought them together and he has arranged this marriage for us to share in today. So that's pretty sweet, isn't it? Hello everyone, it's a hot mic. Thank you guys so much for coming out. My name is Luke, I am Zach's older brother. And I'm gonna read my speech right off of this piece of paper. I probably won't make eye contact with them at all, so <laughs> I apologize for that. I am truly honored and I am blessed for everyone making it out tonight to hear my best man speech. Thank you guys so much for coming out for that. When you look at Zach, he's very tall, very handsome, but he didn't always look that good. When Zach was just a boy, there was an incident in the bathroom tub that resulted in one of his front teeth turning brown in color, and I may or may not have pushed him into the tub. Do the same facial. We all. The day is here. It's all we have. We've only waited three years. It's been longer since you. Another injury I can remember, Zach and I took a trip up to Elk Mountain. So Zach and I thought it would be a great idea to switch snowboards and skis at the same time. And halfway down the mountain, he's going down, down, then he goes down on the back of his head. I helped him up, we really didn't think anything of the incident, until he kept repeating himself. Dude, what car are we in? Why am I not driving? I have to teach Bible tomorrow. Dude. What car are we in? Why am I not driving? I have to teach Bible tomorrow. Brother, better be a donut. <laughs> oh, 
buttered donuts. <laughs> but even after all those head injuries, Zach, you had enough brain cells left to get Sir Lynn as your wife. Majestic side, I'm like a gazelle. <laughs> Sir Lynn, you were so kind, so beautiful, so hospitable. My brother is so lucky to have a godly woman in his life, and that is clearly shown through her words and her actions. <laughs> First Peter 3 8 says, Finally, all of you, be like minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Easier said than done, but I look at the two of you, and I'm sure that you'll have no problem loving one another for the rest of your life. This is a holy event, brothers and sisters. It's a scene saturated with beauty, with loveliness, with joy. It's the ultimate purpose of God fulfilled. Congratulations. I just see this as God bringing two worlds together. He's broken down a lot of barriers, and I love you guys. I'm just really excited to see what the Lord's going to do in this next season of your lives. Sir Lynn wrote these words to me, and I want to read them to you. I am the best of myself when I'm with you. You remind me of who I am in Christ, and you have shown me his unconditional love. You have been to me a tangible representation of the grace and the redemption found in Christ. You have been my strength in moments I thought I would falter, and you have never once let me forget that I am cherished by you in the Lord. I pray that we will continue setting our hearts on Jesus in this lifelong journey together. Zach, even as my little brother, you've been such an example to me and you've always pointed me to Jesus and I know you're going to be such a leader in this marriage. In his own words, this is what Zach wrote to me, sir. The main emphasis Jesus has taught me through this relationship is the deep power of his forgiveness and redemption. Forgiveness, for me, used to be a one-time application. But after being with Sir Lynn for some time, God has taught me of the persistence of his forgiveness. Sir Lynn, I think we all loved you the minute we met you and we folded you into our family, whether you liked it or not. I've been calling you my sister Phil's for years now and I'm glad that today I can finally officially call you my sister. Zach, so proud of you, the man you've become. I can't wait to see you both together and your life together. I love you guys, I'm truly blessed and I pray that the Lord will bless your marriage. And now, by the authority that's vested in me, as a servant of Jesus Christ and His Church, according to the ordinance of God and the law of the state, I can pronounce you husband and wife, and Zach, you can hug or kiss your bride. With great pleasure, I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Zachary Devlin.
it is with this union today. This is a binding holy covenant. It's a commitment and it remains until death do you part. Love never fails. And neither will this union if it's lived out in the love of God. Love is stronger than death. You have one another. You have the blessing of God Almighty. You have Jesus Christ. You have the indwelling Holy Spirit. That's all that this union will ever need to prosper and to fulfill what God intended for it. A little special something something if you don't mind Sterling I need you I need you and we need the dance floor clear Zachary? Yes. Is that cool? All right. I've never called you that before. It's good, man. I just, it's felt weird saying Isaac. Isaac. Yeah, that works. Isaac. Yeah, that works. Okay. Dear Sir Lynn, where do I even begin? We've journeyed through life together for a couple of years with many adventures, laughs, experiences, and one thing remains. God leads me by still waters and restores my soul. And love your tangible representation that truth to me. Hi, Zachary. Hi, Zachary. Take thee, Sir Lynn. Take thee, Sir Lynn. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Hi, Sir Lynn. Hi, Sir Lynn. Take thee, Zachary. Take thee, Zachary. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. My love, I can't believe the day is finally here. We have waited so long and prayed for this day for many years. And I promise before God. And I promise before God. And these witnesses. These witnesses. You're my joy, my happiness. And I can't imagine living life without you. Your smile brightens my world. Your laugh warms my heart. Your love is true. Your gentleness is sincere. Your kindness is heartfelt. You display the fruit of the Spirit, and you're an amazing daughter of the King of Kings. And 
And I promise before God and these witnesses. And I promise before God and these witnesses. To be thy loving and faithful wife. To be thy loving and faithful wife. I still remember when the Lord spoke to my heart when I shook your hand for the first time and he told me I would marry you. Now today on June 26, 2015. I get to marry the most amazing man. To be thy loving and faithful husband. To be thy loving and faithful husband. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. You're enduring in your gaze on the Lord. You're forever in the palms of his hands. And in his hands, you're a royal diadem, a crown of glory. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for in joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. The Lord has blessed us with an incredible relationship that has lasted through many trials and tough situations. You have been patient and trusted in Him, thus leading me to do the same. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. And you're walking in His redeeming grace. You've adhered to the words of the hymn, Let thy grace, Lord, like a fetter, bind my wandering heart to thee. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as, long as we both shall live. live. I promise to walk with you, to hold your hand, to slow down in the grocery store, and love you as my bride, as God loves his bride. I love you, Sirlin. Zach, I'm ecstatic about life with you. I know without a doubt that it'll be an incredible adventure. See you at the altar, future husband of mine. I love you. 